Well, all right, all right. We're back here at the shipping container. Today's goal, frame out the roof. So it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna be doing it by myself. So I'm gonna have to make a holding fixture or some sort of a jig that will hold them up there as I run from one side to the other to screw it before the board falls back onto the ground. So what have we got done so far? Well, I framed out one wall here. I've got two by fours at the top. Um, we actually installed two by sixes at the bottom, which we screwed into the floor. Um, everything's liquid now. The two by fours on the wall, we've put into the recess so they stick out minimally. Um, and I still have enough room for roughly about two inches of spray foam. You notice I've got a hole through the center of the board here, which I'm gonna run the wiring and put the outlets in. So we've done a little bit of pre-planning there. On this wall over here, I'm about three quarters of the way down in the back. Um, we're gonna be installing a personnel door. So I'm not gonna frame that out until I actually get the cutout made so I know exactly where um, my boards will need to go. So if you've ever installed a personnel door in a shipping container, let me know. Tomorrow I'm going to come back and install the rest of the boards. I got them all cut, so it should be a pretty quick day tomorrow. So let me show you what I got done today. So I installed the two by fours on 48 inch centers. I cut the, each board to 87 and three quarters, which uh, lined up pretty good, but I did have to do some hammering in some sections to get everything in. I attempted to do liquid nail so I could bond them to the uh, top metal, but some cases it lined up well like this one. In some cases it lined up in a recess over here. So that was kind of a challenging. But I did tone out them all in to the headers, so those things are in there solid, they're not moving. So tomorrow I'll finish up, get the boards done, and then I'm gonna start running electrical and then put the door in and then finish up the rest of the frame. You know what time it is, folks? It's time for second shift. So let me show you what I got done. So thanks to the mechanical intimidator, we now got a door. I got some of the pre-electrical done down the walls here. So what do I need to get done now? I need to finish out the two by sixes on the floor. I've got all the prefab done on the two by fours. It'll be going off the walls with the holes drilled through the center. So I need to get all that finished up today. Last night I finished out framing out the door. So I've got it all done. So I should be ready to get everything done this week so I can get the power panel installed. And there ain't no plan until the foam man spraying. So I'm gonna try to get all this done by Friday because on Friday I've got scheduled for the foam man to show up to spray the inside. So let's talk foam real quick. I went and bought a can of foam so I was going to spray around the outside of the door. This stuff is messy and it does not come off. So I am not having any part of putting on the spray foam. I looked at a couple of different options of actually getting spray foam and applying it to the container myself. I'll go over that in the video where I talk about insulation. It ain't happening. I went to work today and I had black hands and looked like I had warts all over my hands because I couldn't get the stuff off. So it is messy stuff. I don't wanna have anything to do with it. I'm just gonna bite the bullet and pay for it. But in the long run, I think I'm gonna come out ahead. So, got a lot of work to get done. I'm gonna walk you through the process. Um, I screwed up last night, cut the boards a little bit too short, but uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get it done. So enjoy the video and away we go. So I didn't get any of that captured on video. That sucked. Um, so I wanna take a moment here to just uh, express some regret. Um, I'd like to apologize to anyone that told me not to use pressure treated lumber. You were right, I was wrong. That was a terrible idea. These things are crooked. They're hard to get installed, especially when you're doing it by yourself. 
on a ladder. Um, so you guys were right. I was wrong. I ain't using that crap no more. Pressure treated lumber it sucks. I ran out of time, so I'm calling it a night. Wasn't a complete loss. I did finish out all the framing up to the door, but tomorrow I'm going to conquer the corner. So wish me luck. I'm going home to do shipping and then probably pass out. So see you tomorrow. Welcome back folks to Second Shift, where it's not Taco Tuesday, but it's Two by Tuesday, where we're gonna install the two by fours and finish out the frame. Last night was kind of a Looney Tunes slash Three Stooges episode as I tried to install that pressure treated lumber. And it was a challenge tying it in at the top and the bottom with it all worked. But guess what? I pushed through, I installed like maybe like three or four boards in about four hours time. That's pretty good, right? Mm -mm, no, it's terrible. All right, so what have we got done here on the container? So from the door, we have all the two by fours installed all the way down to the other end of the container. We have all the electrical roughed in halfway, about three quarters of the way down to the container here, all ready for spray foam application. The two by sixes have all been mounted down to the wall. So let's switch over to the other wall. We have all the two by fours installed all the way down the length of the container. All the electrical has been roughed in from down at the very end down to this end. We still need to make one run down each side because we're gonna install some lights on the outside of the container for what? For security. So once all that's done, you ask about what about the roof? The roof, the roof has all been completed all the way down from one end of the container down to the other end container. So what does that leave left? It leaves this tiny little corner over here. So how are we gonna finish out this corner? Well, let me show you. So we get two by sixes that we have to mount down to the floor. Those will have a liquid nail bead down and then we will screw them directly into the floor. Once that's done, it's time for two by fours. We're gonna install one two by four down at the door end and then one two by four down at the other end. And then we're going to install our 100 amp panel. Each side of this 100 amp panel will have a two by four running up each side and we will mount it from the side into the side of the panel. So we might have to do a little two by four ripping on the table saw, but we're gonna good to go on that. So are we done at that point? No, we still have to tie in the two by fours above the door. And then we also have to tie in the corners. Each one of these corners will have a liquid nail board on each side. So the panel sheathing as it comes down has a spot to tie into. And we're gonna get it done. Cause you know what? We get shit done, son. Because on Thursday, they're gonna show up for the spray foam, not Friday. They're backing up a day and they're gonna do it on Thursday. So I got a lot to get done tonight. Sit back and watch. And tomorrow night I'm gonna do cleanup, but I'm gonna be ready by Thursday. So sit back and watch. All right, so now we're gonna get rolling. So for the two by sixes, this might be kind of hard to see, but I drilled a pilot hole all the way through. So instead of putting them, toenailing them into the floor, I've drilled a hole through for kind of a counter bore, and then I'm going to run a drill through the rest of the way. So I'm gonna screw that directly into the floor. And to get a little bit further uh, adhesion to the floor, I'm gonna use liquid nail to run a bead down the side. So um, I'll show you the process as we go, and then the next step I'm gonna do is put the two by fours on the wall. Use a two by four to make sure that I got the right spacing off the wall. And now I'm going to drill, drill the pilot hole so I can actually mount this thing into the floor. And we're finished. I got the framing done above the door, detailed out all the two by fours on the wall in the corner, and also set the two by fours to install the panel. So it's just roughly the width of the panel. I'll probably put some two by fours behind it to space it out a little bit. But other than that, this thing is done as far as framing is concerned. Also got the two by fours in the corner. Started running a little bit more of the electrical, but I'm running out of time tonight, so I'm gonna call it an evening. And tomorrow I have the fun of cleaning all this stuff out so I can start 
getting ready for the spray foam, which is coming up on Thursday. So next videos include door installation. I'll show you the spray foam process and how I came up with the decision on to use spray foam. I will also finish out the electrical and then run the paneling and show you a video on that. Once I'm done, AC install, and I'll probably do a shop tour video. If there's anything else you wanna see in the build process, you have any questions, throw me a comment down below. Um, if you like what you're seeing, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate any comments that you get, and I will see you next time.